I'm interested in your perspective on methane hydrates because I believe we have a couple thousand years worth of fossil fuels available to us ready for use. Yeah, methane hydrates are, at least on the face of it, exciting for the reasons you mentioned, and I've heard estimates even much higher than that. Uh, but the precondition of it being truly exciting is that we have the energy liberation policies that are based on the premise that it's good for human beings to transform our planet for the better, for the betterment of human beings. And something like methane hydrates, you're dealing with something at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that's, you know, the environmentalists will say, oh, that's bad, you're raping nature, this kind of, and that's, that's the anti-humanist view. That's the view that our goal should be minimizing human impact. And so if we can make it so that improving the planet for human beings is the ideal instead of saving the planet from human beings, which is, you know, improve the planet as the motto of Center for Industrial Progress, then we can have these and all kinds of other technologies. And within, it, it's really a sin that there's not more excitement over all the different hydrocarbon, you know, it's a technical term for fossil fuel technologies because there's just so many cool things you can do. For instance, all the fossil fuels or hydrocarbons are interconvertible, uh, you know, with, if you have enough energy to do it in the right technology. So you can turn coal into oil fuel, you can turn gas into oil fuel, you can turn coal into gas if you need to. Um, there's advanced purification technologies. So this idea that we're, like, these fuels are dirty and solar and wind are clean, this, this distinction, I talk about it a little bit in moral case, it doesn't make any sense. Basically, we're getting so good at taking these useless ancient dead plants and turning them into energy, and there's so much exciting technology, and we're still obsessed with trying to like harness the dilute intermittent energy of the sun, which is just on its face an incredibly unpromising thing. The promising things in energy are, are naturally plentiful, dense, stored things. So hydrocarbons and then nuclear. 